Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, and I am back for another... Mm, low Vision Spotlight, I guess you could call it. Um, but we're taking a look at a game service, actually. I'm trying to remember what playlist I put things like Google Stadia and that under because I'll probably put that under the same playlist uh, but we're looking at a game streaming service that I either didn't know about or forgot about um, it is called Ant Stream Arcade A-N-T-S-T-R-E-A-M Arcade and apparently this has been around for a little while and it is a multi-platform game streaming service, and the way that I actually heard about it was on Twitter, and Microsoft just recently announced uh, that later this month, as I'm recording this, uh, the AntStream service is going to be coming to the Xbox platform, so your Xbox Series, SX, and uh, I think even Xbox One, um, and this is like a retro game service. Uh, remember... If anyone remembers way back in the day, maybe around 2005, 6 ish, there was a service called GameTap. Um, kind of like that, but a, a bit different. But this is kind of like a Netflix for gaming. You know, everyone's like, oh, we want a Netflix for gaming. That's kind of what this is. So there's a few ways you can play it. Now, I have the PC version, I downloaded the PC app, the Windows app for it. Apparently, you can do it through the Epic Game Store as well. Um, you can play on Am some Amazon devices, Android, now the Microsoft stuff. Um, I don't believe you can play it on iOS. Uh, you can do it on Mac. I saw the Mac platform on there. Um, because, you know, Apple, and they, they limit things and don't let you buy things, and da-da-da-da-da. You know how that is, so... Um, I don't think you can play it on iOS yet, but, um, like I said, this is kind of a neat thing, and you can play for free, and in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, you have my avatar up there, my profile, and then you have these gems. So basically, you can watch ads, if you play games, and sometimes you can win like in tournaments or challenges, you can earn gems that way. And every time you play a game, you kind of you you would use gems. Now I decided <clears throat> to give it a shot, and I decided that uh, you know let, let's give it a let's give it a try. And I chose to do a one-year subscription, which theoretically has unlimited play. And like I said, this is cross-platform. So if I wanted to pick this up on my Xbox or pick this up on my PC or mobile device. Um, you could theoretically do that. And, um, so I can play games as much as I want to now because I registered for a year. And when I saw the Twitter thing, there was some deal where you could get a lifetime subscription for like 75, 80 bucks. And I thought, well, that would be a good thing to do, but I didn't see that option. So I don't know if like you have to, like they were talking about winning an upgrade to a lifetime subscription or something. So I don't know if like there are certain ways you can get at that or if you have to win it or whatever. But yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of talk even the last week or two about game preservation. There was a recent study where they were saying, what was it, like 87% of classic games are not legally currently available. Uh, on a modern platform, so they're just kind of forgotten to time. Like, the only real option is emulation, which companies get rather angry about, especially <clears throat> Nintendo. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at this. So, on the top here, you you know, you've got your categories. Um, you know, you've got your play now. You've got um, achievements, tournaments. Um messages community and i will say one thing i will give it credit for is even like the pop-up dialogues and such low vision wise this is fairly nice like the, the text size when they use text is actually quite good so if someone is sitting you know playing this on their tv and they're sitting far away from their screen 
it's really not bad. My one visual complaint that I do have is most of the time that I've seen all of these, like you have these categories. So like you see the text here, that's not terrible. It's not bad contrast. It's reasonably sized. But the game boxes, that's the only way that you can really see uh, the name of the game. And because look at, I mean, some of these titles have really strange fonts and they can be very hard to read. I have to use Windows Magnifier in order to be able to read them. The only way that I would be able to see it more clearly is if I went to click on one of these and then it would bring up the game page and then I could see, oh, you know, that's uh, Pac-Man or whatever right here. If I So if I click on Pac-Man, um, see, now I get Pac-Man. But I have to do that extra step to actually... Um, see the title i wish that like you know um like on the epic store usually um they're pretty good about having like the text underneath it's just in a clear font like having the text right under here like under the name or under the box art would just be a really handy thing now the other thing that i will say i tried this with nvda and it did not seem to speak anything so this is another game interface unfortunately that does not seem to be screen reader accessible. I tinkered around with it for a short time, um, but uh, yeah, it does not seem to be screen reader accessible. I'm not entirely uh, surprised by that, unfortunately, but uh, that's sort of what I found out so far. Um, so you have a whole bunch of like game uh, categories. So we have games for you, uh, games with challenges, New games, so they're adding games every week apparently, so you can check back often. Multiplayer games, they do have some uh, games that support multiplayer, that's cool. Some indie titles, uh, arcade adventure, let's see, we got some uh, puzzle games, racing, maze games, driving, uh, strategy, beat em ups. Now you're talking my language. Uh, ooh, I've never played the arcade version of Ninja Gaiden. We're going to have to take a look at that. Uh, adventure games, fighting, um, flight sim, role playing. So you get the idea. And there's just there's a whole bunch of them. So there's a, you know, that was most of the categories, but there's a bunch of categories here. Um, I wish, the other, and maybe there is a way and I just don't see it because of my vision, but I wish there was a way to also sort by, like, I just want to, like, I know they say, oh, we support a lot of classic systems like arcade and uh, Commodore 64 and Atari and, and things like that. So I wish there was a way where I could just kind of browse through the game systems as well. And like I said, maybe there is, but like I said, this this... There's so much going on here on the screen that, um, you know, especially with my vision as it is, um, it could be a little bit harder to maybe figure that out or to see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of like your typical, like, streaming video, Netflix style. Um, you know, you got your carousels for each category that you scroll left and right for. The other thing that I wish is I wish I could just click on, let's say... Um, Let's say that I wanted to click on, oh, I don't know, new games. And I wish it would just take me to a page where it would just give me a nice list rather than having to scroll um, left and right. Maybe having a more text-friendly if I were to click on that. Kind of like a, a view all in this category. Just a, a, an easier way. That's another thing that I wish they would have. So being able to sort by, you know, by system, maybe by year... Um, we got our genres here, which is great. Um, but those are a couple like UI things that I would like to see added. You do have your giant search bar up here. You click on that and boom, you've got search. And I can search for, when I um, search for things, it will search uh, for usernames. So you can add friends. Or it'll come back with game suggestions. So I did my last search was for pinball. We got a bunch of pinball games here. And there's even a pinball category. So yeah, there's tons of stuff here. 
let's play a couple games, shall we? So let's go into my profile, because that's where I've set up some stuff here. So I've only played a couple of games. I got my Double Dragon avatar there. So I got, uh, I've got like arcade, got an achievement, and the last. I, oh, I played three games. So I played a little bit of a Bad Dudes Challenge. I played um, Rampage, and I played Double Dragon, or not Double Dragon. Um, bleh, Smash TV. Um, so let's go into, let's just go into my, one of my recent play. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play some Smash TV. So here is your game page. Um, if you wait a little while, it will cycle between two or three screenshots. I wish I could manually click that easier or faster. See, there's your screenshot, kind of an overhead dual stick shooter. Very popular. I remember playing the Super Nintendo version. Which I like the Super Nintendo version music better, but Dual Analog Sticks is pretty nice. Uh, you can play it, you can add it to your favorite, uh, you can share it. You have four save slots here, so yeah, you can you can save, and I think it also does cloud save. So if I pick it up here or you know go to another device, I can just pick up where I left off. That's pretty sweet. Um, let's play now. When I play, what's cool? is every time before you go in, it gives you a screen that tells you what your um, button mapping, button layouts are going to be. Now, I don't believe you can customize that, unfortunately, so for people who need that, but um, it does tell you what the button layouts are. Now, I am using my Xbox control. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Did I not see? I thought I... Hold on. Oh, um, ba bum 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 bum. Oh, let me quit real quick. Yeah, because I was gonna pick up where I left. Did I have a? S yes, I do have a save. Okay, so we're gonna click that save, and we're gonna. Bingo! Let's go! Oh, weird! It didn't. How do I? How do I load that save? Well, I guess we're just going to play some. I Well, no. Bingo! Bingo! I want to see how that works. So we have... Setting continue. No, that just continues. Quit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, press play to start, hold, menu button to exit. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to play with that load and save state thing more. But, uh, oh, oh, that was stupid. I was going to go get that power up. It's a dual stick shooter though here. Bingo. The speech samples are a heck of a lot clearer than on my or on the Super Nintendo version. Let's grab all these cash and prizes. There we are. Oh, I love this power up the spinning wheel thing. Bingo. Okay, so we gotta go right here. So this is like your Running Man game show type of thing. Need it. Yeah, that guy, the, the Super Nintendo version, was so scratchy. Oh dear. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Gimme. Ah, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Big money, big prizes, I love it. As he would say. They even have the classic Robocop line in here. When you get to the first boss, I'd buy that for a dollar. And the nice thing about a lot of these games is like they're so, like they're old, so they're tiny. Yeah, this is a streaming service, ideally. Um, but like I said, once you subscribe, you can also download games. So that's cool. But the thing is, even if you're streaming, a lot of these games are so old that they're small. 
so you're not going to waste a lot of bandwidth uh, streaming them. At least I wouldn't suspect you would. Because, I mean, I remember, like, if you get ROMs and stuff, some, especially the really old stuff, you could probably put, like, hundreds of those on a CD back in the day if you were downloading ROMs. So, yeah. Okay, so let me... Well, let me clear this room and then I'll try to save it again. See if we can figure out this save nonsense. Got my little invincibility shield when I spawn in. <coughs> uh oh, uh oh. Ah. Contestant one. Okay, so let's. We've got a safe spot here. Let's go ahead and. That's the other thing that I wish you could do, especially for arcade games, is I wish. Um, I know arcade games didn't have a pause, but like you know, we're we're playing this on a on a home system or a portable. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, you could just hit the little menu button, but just having a quick pause button there would be nice. So if I save, and then I say save it on slot one, yeah, overwrite slot one, please wait, okay, so we should be able to quit, actually, I'm going to say no, and then I'm going to... Go to a different room so that we know whether it worked or not. Oh, I hit the damn mine. All right. Oh, okay, back. Okay, that's what that does. So I can use back to do it. Never mind, that's not bad. Uh, let's quit. Okay. And uh, so let's go down and hit play. What? So it just brought me back here. Okay, well, maybe when I used the mouse, it just didn't work. I don't freaking know. But now we can go up instead. We should be able to. Oh, no. Whatever. I have. I don't know. I haven't figured out the um, the save stuff, so that's a little weird. Now the other interface issue that I've noticed so far is when you're in a game here. This is your you know your info screen, but you have other tabs right up here. Um, and depending on whether the game has challenges, whether it's got like tournaments or multiplayer or whatever, um, so I can do. I can look at challenges here. And we could, you know, do one of those if we wanted to. Um, we got scores. Okay, so I have never actually looked at that yet. So we get our little tooltip. But even, uh, I should have left that up there. The tooltips, even the text on those are nice and large. Now, there's always a similar tab, which is nice. I'm glad they have this. However, my complaint about this is every single time for every game I've looked at, the lineup for similar games has been exactly the same. A, when I was looking up Double Dragon, that was the first time I looked at um, similar games. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, let me find some more beat-em-ups. And first thing it comes up with is Joust. Um, no, that is nothing like Double Dragon. Um, Operation Wolf? No, that is nothing like Double Dragon. And every game that I go into, um, you know, we're in Smash TV right now. And it's the same lineup of games. I think either this is broken or I'm not sure what's going on. But similar is not working. Um, every single game that I've done. Uh, so if I, let me go back and uh, let me go back to. The main... I'm just going to go click on like a random puzzle game or something. Um, so let's go play now. Let's go to another category. New games. Let's see. Let's do... Puzzle. So I don't know. We'll just click on whatever the hell this is. We'll just click on that. 
and then I will go similar. Oh, it actually did change that time. I have one more new title here on the left, but otherwise it's, they're exactly the same. Like th this, I'm glad they have a similar games feature, but I really think they need to optimize that more because it is really not that helpful. I'm going to be honest. Literally every game until that until that added that first new title, every game that I've looked at has had the same exact games listed under similar. So let's play another game. Um, let's try our Bad Dudes Challenge again. Okay. And there we go. We got our button mapping. Okay. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the president? Okay. Ah! Okay, that was my... Oh, they use that same exact sound effect for Robocop. So it must be the same dev. The noise when you get hurt. It's a little... A little stiff feeling. Bad Dudes was never, like, a hugely... I mean, I love the idea of it, but it just, to me, it always felt stiff. And I'm bad at this game. And I'm dead. Okay, well, there you go. There's Bad Dudes. Um, kind of just your straight left and right. You know, it's not like your 3D brawler, like Double Dragon. You can only move... Sometimes you can go on the top or the bottom... Um, let's see, so challenges, wait a minute, how do I, how do I do this? I've never done this with the, um, okay, there's my favorites. So, let's see, what do we want to play? Let's try something else. So this is, this is a, I'm going to play this, um, what is it? Burning Fight. I've never played this before, but it was under the beat-em-up category. It looked okay, so let's see if it's any good. I mean, look at... Oh, whoops. There we go. Come in. Burning Fight. Now, and I, I know it's not necessarily uh, Ant Stream's fault, but what I will say is the other thing that kind of holds back that kind of holds back a lot of these retro collections retro st like streaming services whatever okay who do we want to be uh, I have no idea who any of these people are all right all right oh this is final fight as hell okay all right cool um, but the problem with a lot of these, with these are, I mean, and I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm glad they have the games that they do, and I'm also really glad that they have these, like, deep cut games that people don't typically think of, you know, because a lot of your popular, let's say, like, your Mega Man, or your Street Fighter, or your Konami games, whatever, those are kind of getting at least somewhat bought, brought forward back in the collections and stuff. How the hell do I... Okay, oh, it's... Oh, that's a weird... Okay, I see what's going on here. I can use either... Oh, I have a punch and a kick. Oh, okay. Okay, so I actually have two different attacks. I can... Okay. Um, but the issue is, is like... The games that you really want are probably not going to be there pending... Uh, a lot of these game companies pulling their heads out of their asses and actually wanting to preserve game history because a lot of your like your licensed stuff like let's say I want to look up like brawlers right maybe I want to have the turtles games I want to play I want to I wanted to see if the Simpsons game was there I looked for that um, maybe I wanted to find uh, I remember in our arcade in our bowling alley, we had a game called Crime Fighters. I don't think that was really based on any franchise that I know of, but that wasn't there. Um, the X-Men or the uh, the Punisher game. I would want to play the Punisher game, maybe. Um, be cool if they could get some Japanese stuff in here. So, like, you know, again, think about beat-em-ups. Uh, there's a fucking ridiculous game called... 
super, was it super? No, what the hell is it called? Uh, like, not super baseball bat. Yeah, maybe it was super baseball Batman. I something baseball Batman. And no, it's not the Batman, the Cape Crusader. It's just like some sports themed, crazy beat em up with like, just tons of stuff going on. Um, I played it on an emulation machine. I think it was at the Dreamcade Replay. I think I did a review of that on the channel a few years back. And I was downloading some ROMs. So, I don't know. I mean, this seems like you, for your early 90s beat em up, late 80s, early 90s beat em up, this seems okay. Seems all right. I don't know how deep uh, the moves are and stuff, but... Uh, Ow. Oh, wait did, you, wait, did you have a gun? Oh, you prick, you do. Oh, that's that's real fair, guy. Jackass, get out of here. Oh, give me your weapon. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> you didn't get me that time. Eat it. That's right. So we'll get into a level here, and then I'll save it. Um, that, but like I said, I, I can't really blame the people behind, uh, Antstream. I can't really blame them because other services have had some, or even, even collections, you know, like let's say you get a Sega collection and they've released gazillions of those out here. But the problem is, is like some of the, like, oh man, remember this game on the Genesis, but it was some sort of franchise or something? Okay, I get to beat up a nice vehicle here. Mm, mm, mm. Keep smashing, there we go, smash it all to hell. Uh, <coughs> you're not going to find those because they're third-party licensed properties. Yeah. Okay. And I just got clocked. Thankfully, this is... Oh. Oh, I can actually... Let's choose a different guy once. Do I continue? I do. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that this game has, like, a lot of depth as far as, like, different move sets and combos or air juggles and stuff, but, I mean, for a basic beat-em-up, it seems fine. Um, but, like I said, that's my other problem. It's like... Oh man, all these retro art, like retro games from arcade and console. But yeah, I mean that's the thing is I want to play the Punisher. I want to play um, the X Men arcade game, the Simpsons arcade game. I want to play stuff that would have you know like maybe the WWF WrestleMania games uh, or whatever that were in the arcade or. Just things that have properties, maybe they're associated with a franchise, a TV show, a comic book, whatever. Um, you're just not going to find some of those in there. And like I said, I'm glad that you have all these deep cuts. I'm glad we have that. Um, because those these games need just as much recognition uh, as well. But, okay, so we're going to save you under the first slot. Okay, and there we go. We got a save game, so I can pick that up later. So if I use the controller, it seems to work better than it does with the keyboard and mouse or whatever. I don't know how to load with the mouse. Uh, okay, let's try a couple more games. Let's try a couple different genres here. Oh, yeah, I want to try... Where was it? Oh, see... Okay, it just, it's another banner. Yeah, I kind of wish... I want to see what this Arcade Ninja Gaiden is. I've, I've, I knew it was, the NES version was based off of an arcade version. But I have no idea. I've never played it. Okay, so I got... Grab, Attack, and Jump. All right. I mean, the NES game is notorious. It's an awesome game. But holy gods, are they difficult. I got to the last boss. Well, the last, what, three bosses. And I could never beat it. Okay.
Oh, weird. Actually, my dude is kind of hard to see. He's a little small, and he bl he blends in to the background. Ooh, this is not good, really. Uh, it, first impression... It's like a brawler. I thought it was still like a straightforward platform and like a bad dudes type of thing. No, this is... Oh, I don't... Yeah, this is hard to see. Because your guy just blends in. Like, everything is so kind of light color. Like, he just blends into the background to me. And if I keep my eyes on it close, like, I can kind of see where I am, but... No, this is no... Oh, God. The NES version is, like, 20 times better than this. Um, wow. Okay. So, I learned what the new... Or the original Arcade Ninja Gaiden was. Okay, fair enough. Um... So we've done a couple brawlers. Let's do... Ah, oh, crap. Hold on. Let's do... my One of my dad's favorite games here. I'll find it here. Where did I put it? Yes, we will try Mortal Kombat, I promise. Because Mortal Kombat... The first one is in here. I wish they had Mortal Kombat 2. But we're going to play a Galaga. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, my dad, we owned the... This is one of the few NES games we owned early on, and... My dad loved this game. He was good at it, too. My dad was never a video game fan, but, like, he loved Space Invaders. He loved, um... He played Asteroids, and Galaga was his game. Like, that was the one game you could get... Ah, damn it. You could get him to play. Galaga. And don't get me wrong, like, I'm not generally into, like, these kind of shooter types, but I love Space Invaders, and I love Galaga, too. I, I got Oh, my God. I am just doing horrible. And I know the arcade version, they... It's harder. They drop more bombs! Oh, my God, I suck. So what happens? Do I start... Can I continue, or... If I just hit start to in, in, put credits in? Uh... No. Alright. We'll try this one more time and see if I can do remotely well. And they have Galaga 88, which I heard is really good too, but I haven't played that, so... I'll have to check that out at some point. I really hope that that low... Jesus, that licensing... Um, article, that licensing study that came out earlier this week. Uh, I really hope that does really kick some people in the rear because, I mean, it's a shame. You know, the, and the other problem that games have that other media doesn't, largely, I mean, books, I can go get a book that was made in 1200 if, as long as the paper hasn't deteriorated, and I can play it. Um, Movies, okay, they switch formats, so maybe, you know, you might have to have a VHS, or you might have to have DVD, or maybe even, like, a reel-to-reel -reel or something, but, you know, they're passive, so as long as you can get the platform, or you're maybe, you know, maybe there's a way to convert, you know, from the, I know they have digital converters, like, things where you can digitize VHS tapes, so there's easier ways to preserve that, um, <clears throat> But not just ripping the ROMs themselves, like, you know, for emulators, but also, you know, a lot of these games, especially look at arcade titles, you could have a steering wheel game, you could have a trackball, you could have um, the little twisty knob thing for something like Breakout, I forget what that knob is called, um, but like, you know, you've got the little, um, you have a lot of different weird and unique control methods, and... 
you know, even like a twin stick shooter, like when we when they ported Smash TV to the Super Nintendo, well, that didn't have analog sticks. So your four face buttons, you could you could shoot up, down, left, and right. Um, so that wasn't the same. But like you said, if you have a trackball or if you have one of those um, dial-based games, like Warlords or something, um, playing those on an analog stick just isn't... It just doesn't feel right. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I just... I wish that... I wish that companies wouldn't be so close-minded and it's like well you know there might be a chance 20 years from now that we might want to do something we're just going to sit on our ip and never use them so like you know with this whole microsoft activision thing still going on that i'm getting absolutely sick of um you know activision didn't seem willing and like if it's not call of duty they don't care um, but if you have someone like Phil Spencer and Microsoft, and if they're taking them over and like, well, you know, hey, you've got a lot of old IP in here that, um, you know, the way we should probably do something with. So maybe they could either bring back a collection of certain things or, you know, one of my favorite publishers, one of my favorite developers in the, in the 90s was Midway. God, they made a great arcade games, console games. Even in like the early 2000s, they had some pretty cool stuff. Kind of, people, a lot of people call them B-tier games, but they had a lot of cool stuff, and it just it pains me. You know, those companies don't exist anymore. So now we're doing Matt Mania, which is a wrestling game, real quick. I've never played this either, so I have no idea. Okay, I'm some dude. Okay, we got our TWE or TWA. Okay, I think of the airplane company when I think of TWA. Okay, so I'm the guy on the left. Hey, Punko. Ow. Okay, I have no idea what the contr or what the how to play this. Okay. Uh. Oh, come on! I always get hit when he does. Okay. See, that seemed to hurt me more than it hurt him. So I can do like the rope a dope thing. I can make him. I can like Irish whip him. I think is what it's called. So I know how to do that, but then when he comes back... Okay, that's more like a grapple, I think. Okay, let's kick him. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. I mean, at least it's pretty fluid. It's pretty fast, but... This game kind of reminded me of a game I remember seeing on the NES that I can't remember what it was called. Oh, okay. Get off of me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose because I have no idea how to pin. Either. So, I mean, a service like this has great potential. Especially as... <coughs> you know, especially as they add more... And if more companies are willing to... Oh, they threw me out of the ring. All right, how do I get back in? I, oh, I'm hurting. I, I can't even get up here. How do I get in? Let me in. How do I... I don't know how to get in the ring. Let me in. Okay, somehow I got in. I have no idea how I did. Okay, pile drive the guy. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I pinned him. Oh, I got a two count. Hell yeah. There might be hope. <laughs> the voice for that is classic. Ooh, throws me over his head, does a little bench press move. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Is that a wolf sound? Instead of a three? Okay, this game is weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, the service has a lot of potential. I think they need to have a, like I said, unless I'm missing something, they need to have a few more ways to filter the games. Like I said, um, maybe by platform, by year, by, you know, we've got the genre thing so far. 
I would like to see more of like a textual, like even having text under the box art. Um, I, I'd love to be able to go into like the, 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 the genre titles here themselves. I'd like to be able to just hit A and just go into like a big old list of titles that were words that were in a nice large print. Um, of course, I would, I would absolutely love screen reader accessibility. Of course, I would love to have that. Um, and I really hope that they can kind of make some more deals and get some, you know, some more franchise games. Uh, oh, well, that's right. We didn't do Mortal Kombat. We okay. We're gonna end with Mortal Kombat because. You know, blind players, they love Mortal Kombat, right? You know, we can play fighting games. Uh, let's see. I, oh, I got to go over to I go over to my profile, and then I got to go to favorites. Yeah, we got to play Mortal Kombat. That's right. Uh, we'll end on that. Uh, we'll, and this is the arcade version. So this is not the, you know, Genesis... Or Super Nintendo version. I have no freaking clue what the fatalities are. Oh wow, that was, yeah, that loaded fast. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. Seems like good emulation. Okay. Yep, okay, that's the, yep, that's the, oh, you prick. I'm trying to remember, okay, there's the kick. Sonya wins. Boo, Sonya, boo. So I did the kick. Okay, there's the fireballs. Wow, your life bar goes fast in this early games. Ooh, you threw me. Ow! Here we go, throw a bile. Fireball in the face. Hey, I won a match! Ooh, subby. He froze me. Ow, Sub-Zero, that's not cool. Hey! Sub-Zero wins. Wow, he just annihilated me. I tripped you first. Oh, you blocked my, or you dodged my uppercut. Ah! At least do a fatality on me. Come on. Zero wins. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, that is me getting my ass kicked in Mortal Kombat. How about that? Raiden. See if I remember Raiden's moves real quick. Is it? I thought it was a way toward punch. See, they've changed his moves over the years. Sometimes it's back, back, forward. I think that's what it was in Mortal Kombat. Oh, there it is. Figured it out. Uh, I think in uh, in Mortal Kombat 4, it was way, way, way toward. But this one, it's a way toward low punch. I think... I think it's down away. I'm trying to figure out how to do the lightning. Raiden wins. All right, I won anyway. All right, let's go ahead and save it. And then we will uh, wrap up the video. So yeah, I, I, like I said, it's a, re oops. It's a really cool service. Um, and I, there are definitely some gems in here. I haven't even begun to sift through all of them because some of them, like I said, the box arts are actually kind of hard for me to read. 
um, unless I were to actually arrow through, like I said, I could go, I could go in and let's see, let's go down here and I'll just arrow over. I'll quit it. So I could hit, oh, and then it brings it up. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that I like that. Because <clears throat> then it brings it up to the top. I just want to... Yeah. I was using the mouse earlier, but yeah, sometimes you can click on stuff. and So yeah, like low vision wise, like the interface is okay, but I just wish it was a little bit more straight up text because some of the fonts on the box art are hard for me to read. But there you go, guys. That is Ant Stream Arcade. It is coming to an Xbox platform near you uh, so, uh, shortly after I'm recording this video. So by the time you see this, it may already be out. But yeah, it is on multi-platform. You can play it for free. You can kind of get the gems, the gems system if you want to, um, you know, try some of the service, try some of the games for free. Or if you do want to subscribe and just play a whole bunch of classic arcade and uh, just classic games in general from um, older game platforms, check it out. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.